Hello, friends. Let me demonstrate how uh, we can leverage our platform or framework to actually streamline the process of sourcing, initial screening, and technical evaluation. As part of the technical evaluation, we might conduct multiple rounds, and one of the rounds can be a technical test. With respect to sourcing and screening, typically we uh, post the JD as part of the job sites such as Nowcree, Monster, etc. And then uh, uh, we will uh, reach out to the candidates who have applied for those jobs and we capture that information. That information can be captured in a more structured and streamlined fashion using Google Forms. If you look at this form, we are capturing email ID and name here. If you want to add additional information such as what is the current CTC, what is expected CTC, uh, what are the core skills of the candidate, uh, uh, we can actually capture our required skills and then we can actually place them as part of this form and ask the candidate for the ratings and so forth. That's That will actually uh, standardize the approach of uh, uh, capturing the data uh, from the candidates and uh, having it in a, a Google Sheet so that we can quickly review and make quick decisions. That being said, let me walk you through the process of first sourcing and screening and also how the technical evaluation can be uh, technical without too much of manual intervention. So in this case, uh, I can actually circulate the Google form link uh, by capturing the link from here. Once the link is captured, we can shoot out the email to the candidates and the candidates can go to the browser and then paste that form or open that form in the browser. And then they should be able to enter the information. So in this case, I'm logging in as dgazajatitversity.in. Once I log in using this user ID and password, it is asking me for the email. In this case, I'm entering the email as dgazajatitversity.in. Name is Durga Gajraju. And then I can say submit. It will take care of the submission of the form. As part of this form, we can also capture additional information that is relevant for our job and also some standard questions such as the current CTC, expected CTC, et cetera. Now, as the form is uh, filled, uh, we can actually see the results in the form of a sheet. You can see there's a sheet link. If you click on it, you will get all the responses as a dashboard. You can see here. Uh, already there was one submission. This is the second submission. Uh, you will be seeing all the information that is captured in the form uh, in the form of uh, these fields and the data. Now uh, you, you can uh, review all the responses of the candidate. It can be a senior recruiter or a high, technical hiring manager who can review and see the matching of the candidate with your JD. Now, uh, as we capture that information, as we confirm that a candidate is suitable, we can uh, provide some additional information which is relevant to the labs. Uh, on our platform. Uh, we are going to streamline that process uh, as we go along. Uh, as of now, the recruiter or uh, the technical hiring manager has to enter an account ID. We will work with you to set some standards for now to actually get the account ID. Eventually, we will even uh, automate that process. So for now, I am assigning as, uh, account ID as uh, 64, subscription and date as 2021-07. 31. Uh, the term is not correct. It's not subscription and date. It is the test and date. But for now, let's leave with this. 2021 July 31st is the end date before which the candidate has to complete the test. And then we have to say shortlisted yes. Once we enter this information, automatically it will trigger the, in the background uh, to create the account as part of our labs. You can actually see that uh, uh, trigger also here. You can see uh, an account ID is created for the user along with the password. This is the password. And also it will actually shoot out the email. Now, if I go back to the uh, browser, if I open my Gmail, I should see the credentials as part of my uh, email uh, uh, box also, or my inbox in my email account. So I'm logged in as a uh, uh, in uh, uh, through Gmail now. And I should be able to see the credentials uh, here. You can see here, uh, this is the latest one. The username is the uh, 64 and this is the password. I can copy this. I can click on this. 
it will uh, prompt me to enter the username and password the username is nothing but 50 and then 64 and the password is this one then sign in and then the candidate can actually take the test so there are multiple ways uh, to work with you or work with the clients on this uh, the clients can actually provide us the uh, tests and we can actually integrate with our platform and we, we can make sure that the respect to test of a specific client is published you can see here if i go into this folder there are some data sets and there are uh, several scenarios and the candidate is expected to complete these scenarios so this is how the platform and the framework which you have defined for sourcing uh, initial screening as well as technical screening can uh, work together and it will make the process a bit standard and also seamless